Canada actually is blessed with forests. It, uh, it has approximately 10% of the globe's forests. That forest land, for the most part, is owned by provinces and territories. And each of them has legislation and policy that essentially sets out goals and objectives that includes extensive public consultation. And although they have different legislation and policies from one jurisdiction to the next, they do share a common vision, a common goal around sustainable use. Canada has pioneered the concept of sustainable forest management over vast landscapes. Remember that Canada's forests are over 400 million hectares in size. Canadian forest products exporters are some of the largest in the world producing newsprint, market pulp and softwood lumber for markets across the world. In addition, Canada's forest also supports a multi-billion dollar tourism industry as well as attracts visitors from across the world to enjoy our hunting, fishing and spectacular scenery. In Canada, we have a number of tools that we're using to protect forest values. One of them, the ultimate one, of course, is legislation and setting aside areas for complete protection through legislation, either at the federal or at the provincial level. In almost every province and, and jurisdiction, there is a requirement to report to the public information that provides some sense of progress towards sustainability. There's also the marketplace. And Canada, for example, has some 40% of the world's third-party certified forests. What that does, that gives some sense to the public, to the buyers, to the sellers, a, a sense of what the uh, environmental performance is of firms that operate on public land in Canada. And I guess finally, the science that goes into establishing forest management uh, criteria and performance is something that's uh, world-class and peer-reviewed with colleagues both domestically and internationally. So in many respects, Canada has written the book in terms of developing landscape-level sustainable forest management. Going forward, what we need to do is invest more innovation to be able to create more value out of fewer trees. This, I think, will continue to secure Canada as a global competitor in forest products trade.